good morning my name is anshli dhamiwal i am here as assistant professor in computer science department and now i am working with a wctm college and today i am going to present a topic on osi model and tcp so let's start with osi model first and then we will uh, go through on tcp model and the difference what is the difference between tcp and osi model so firstly the osi model and tcp model okay osi model as we know that osi model is a open interconnect open system interconnections it is developed by iso in 1984 and as we know that osi model have a seven layers it has a seven layers and uh, all layers has a their different uh, protocols and their different aspect then they are working with uh, to communicate and to transfer the data from one person to another in globally so this is the architecture of osi model as we know that osi model has a seven layers and uh, all layers have their different roles into uh, is to present and to transfer the data from one person to another in global format so firstly there is a la uh, layers first layer is physical layer data link layer network layer transport layer and session layer presentation layer and the last one is application layer so uh, for bottom three layers are known as the hardware layers and upper three layers are known as the software layers and transport layer is the heart of osi model because the transport layer is the main uh, layer of that osi model that help to communicate the person from one network to another network so as we start with first layer that is physical layer physical layer is the bottom most layer of a osi model it is used to send the data from one person to another person in a bit format it uh, it is used to send the data from one person to another person in a bit format it is used to send the row met row uh, row bits that is help to communicate the person in zero and one format it is used to send the data in a binary format only and as we know that the hub repeater these are the devices that is used on a physical layer to transport the data second layer is data link layer as know that it is used to uh, communicate and it is used to link the data from one layer to another layer as we know that the dd uh, ddl layer that is data link layer it has a two main uh, link layers that is mac and llc that is a logical link layer and media access layer they have their different aspect and their different format to transfer the data from one layer to next layer and it send the data in a frame format that is 0101 as the uh, layer 1 send the data to the data link layer it is in a bit format but data link layer convert that bit format into the frame format uh, it is used to transfer the data in a by the control flow how many uh, bits can be transfer what is the flow of the bit and make sure that the data that is transferred by the data link layer it must be it must be error free there should not be any error while we are sending the data next is layer number 3 that is the most important layer that is the network layer network layer is basically used to send the data by using the routers and it is used to routing the data which is given by the transport layer and sent to the data to the data link layer the main device that is used on network layer is routers which has their own ip address and ip address is the main thing that is used by the network layer it has different ip addresses which is given by the sender and receiver also uh, sender has their own ip address and receiver has their own ip address that means that is easy to send the data by using the ip address and router is the main device that is used to send the data from one uh, one system to another system so uh, layer number 4 that is transport layer it is the main layer and it is the heart of the osi layer as we know that transport layer is used to send the data from uh, network layer to the uppermost layer that is usable by the user itself it is used to send the data it should be error free it should be compressed and it should be transmit and retransmit if any one if any data is be lost or data cannot be sent so it can be easily retransmit that data and send and 
पार्सल टू द रिसीवर टू रिसीव द डेटा इन अ प्रॉपर फॉर्मेट एंड विदाउट एनी एरर्स एंड द सेशन लेयर सेशन लेयर इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट लेयर ऑल्सो इट इज द सॉफ्ट सॉफ्टवेयर लेयर इट इज यूज टू सेट द सेशन एंड टू मेक ऑथेंटिकेटेड दैट द यूजर शुड बी ऑथेंटिकेटेड दो देर इज नो फेक आइडेंटिफिकेशन इट इज यूज टू सेंड द सेशन एंड मेंटेनेंस बाय द यूजर टू इंटरेक्ट विद सॉफ्टवेयर एंड द यूजर ऑल्सो सो लेयर नंबर सिक्स Uh, presentation layer it is also known as a translation layer because it is used to translate the data by sending by the sender and receiving by the receiver it is also used to compress the data in a short format or in a large format as we required and in, it is used to encrypt and decrypt the data as we know that encryption is a plain text format and decryption is the also the same scenario but it is used to decrypt the data by using the some uh, keys that is sent by the sender or a, uh, by the user also last is application layer layer number 7 it is used to represent and it is basically used by the user it is used to display the several application that is used by the users and it is used to uh, there are the many some examples like ftp file transmission protocol say uh, smpt simple uh, simple mail transport protocols and some other factors that is http and etc that protocols are used by uh, on this layer layer number 7 that is application layer now we can move to uh, move on the next topic that is tcp and ip model it is also same as osi model but tcp model is known as transmission control protocol and ip address basically it has a four layers as we know that osi model it has a seven layer but it has four layers but its functionality is just same like a uh, osi model also so it has a seven layers application uh, bottom number one is network access layer internet layer transport layer and the last one is application layer network access layer is a combination of physical layer and data link layer it has the same functionality as the application layer uh, as the physical layer and the data link layer both have as we know that o in osi model physical layer and data link layer is used to transmit the data with proper flow control error free and it should be in a bit format or in a frame form so network layer is the bottom most layer of tcp model it is used to send the data in a proper format but in a bit format or in a frame format is it is the main and the bottom most layer of tcp model next is internet layer that is known as network layer in osi model it is used to send the data by using the router and it is used to route the data or proper routing by using the ip address or the mac address of the sender and the receiver layer number 3 is transport layer is it is also same as the same functionality that has uh, that is be uh, taken in a osi model also a uh, transport layer is also used to transport the data from upper layer to the lower layer the main protocols are used in that is tcp model and udp model tcp model is transmission control protocol and udp model is user datagram protocol it is used to establish the connections connection less data and if we establish the connection there should be a connection sent by the user then it give the acknowledgement and acknowledgement should be given by the receiver that means it has taken the uh, it has accept the data that send uh, that is sending by the sender and after that it is done by the sender to establish the data and there is a udp also that is connection less so there is no need to provide or there is no need to establish the connection between sender and user it is that just sending the data and receiver will receive there is a no acknowledgement should be given by the receiver but in a tcp the acknowledgement should be given by the receiver that it uh, it has properly received the data that is given by the sender in a proper format and it should be error free so me so main concept transport layer is that data should be error free in a proper format proper flow control there is no loss of data in a 
sending format data should be in packet format and it is uh, error free there should not be any loss of data so last layer in, in tcp model is application layer the same functionality that is done by the application layer in osi model is also same here it is used to provide the application or a platform that is uh, done by the user it is used to provide the some protocols that is used by the users on a a desktop or on a window or on a mac android anyone uh, operating system we can use and it is the main uh, layer that is used by the user to run their objective and to run their data on a proper desktop windows and the main example of this window is http that is hypertext mark uh, hypertext transmission protocol and smpt and ftp as well so let's conclude the topic that is difference between tcp model and osi model as we know that tcp osi model has a seven layers and tcp mo uh, tcp model has a four layers tcp model make sure that data should be uh, given by in proper format there no uh, there is no error but in osi model the data should be guaranteed it should be delivered by the send uh, it should be delivered by the sender and receiver will receive it in a proper format OSI model is more reliable as compared to TCP model TCP model is less reliable as compared to OSI model and the changing of and remoting of the tools and protocols is uh, quite difficult to change in OSI model but in TCP model it is very easy task to change the protocols and tools and to make sure that data should be delivered as in TCP model uh, is the transmission control protocol it is also done by the iso and osi model is known as open open system interconnection it is also done by the iso thank you